Let's now start our titration. Uh, I have actually heated up this flask to roughly 94 degrees Celsius. So it should be enough uh, heat for the ascorbic acid to dissolve. I want to make sure there's no solution at the tip of this temperature probe. So I'm just washing it. Remember the amount of water doesn't really matter. So this is all good. Now we can start with our first flask. So I'm going to wash the size of the flask and now adding our indicator. I've already poured in my sodium hydroxide but I have to set it to zero before I start. So setting my volume to zero there. And now starting the first titration. The solution can be warm, it doesn't impact the mole. So I can see the color changing where the sodium hydroxide drops. So let's go ahead and the liquid is a little not it's murky, but I can see the pink color. See, you could see it too, probably. Okay, it looks like we got our first faint pink color. And I'll wash the tip and make sure that stays. Well, maybe not yet. Add like one couple more drops. There it is. So I'll go ahead and get the camera close to the readout. Go ahead and record this volume. Okay, I'm going to read, uh, record my volume as well. So, we are ready for our next titration. So, my second sample. Oops, before I start, I have to fill my sodium hydroxide back to zero. tell you that sodium hydroxide is a very dangerous solution to get on your skin especially in your eyes and I'm wearing goggles for this work it's very dangerous for your eyes all right so I don't think I've added the indicator to this one yet there is my indicator and my second titration so let's go ahead and add so the, the, it's based on the masses again. This one is weighs a little heavier by 0 0.02 uh, grams. So it's going to require the same volume. That's roughly 21 ml. So I can pour in my 21. And then go drop by drop. But I do have to mix. So it might take a little time for it. There it is, color is gone. Close to the end point. And 
think we got it. Okay, so go ahead and record this volume as well. All right, so we did the second one. So I'm gonna record my volume. And now we're ready for our last titration, filling sodium hydroxide back to volume. a little over okay zero point zero zero good starting point adding my indicator and this mass is a little bit less so I'm going to add only like 20.5 milliliters in one shot and then go gradually. color should go away which it did now adding drop by drop all right looks like we have it so I'm gonna have you record this volume now this is our last titration volume There you have it. So please, let's record that before I forget that. So please go ahead and run through your calculations for the percent uh, ascorbic acid in this sample. That's it.